If you call my cell phone, pick up the phone, I don't want to give that number, but uh, <laughs> if you were to call this number, this is what you would get as a message from me. Hi, this is Wayne Dyer that you've reached, and I want to feel good. If your call is designed to do anything other than that, <laughs> you have reached the wrong number, <laughs> and I urge you to call Dr. Phil. <laughs> but feeling good is perhaps the most important thing that I can talk to you about here in cleaning up this link. If you open up the Torah, this ancient spiritual text, the Old Testament, and go to the very opening lines, Genesis 1-1, it says, what? In the beginning, God created heaven and earth. Pretty simple. God is infinite. Out of this source came all the material worlds. And then if you read down 31 lines later, it says, and all that God created was good. So good and God are synonymous, aren't they? Good and God, just an O, just one extra O. So that when you say, I want to feel good, as you'll see as this program unfolds, you're really saying, in a way, I want to feel God. I want to feel whatever this beautiful source of all, this divine mind, this source of all things, I want to feel what it feels. Now, you might say to yourself, yeah, it's easy to say I want to feel good, but uh, how can I feel good when so much around me is bad? How can I feel good if my sister-in-law has cancer? And how can I feel good if I know that over on the other side of this planet there are people who are starving to death? And how can I feel good if there are people who are poor and I have money, and there are people who are starving, and how can I feel good when my children act in the way that they act? Or how can I feel good? And I suggest to you that when you say, I want to feel good, what you're saying is, I want to feel God. I want to feel this. I want to connect here. And I want to offer this to you as a very important and powerful piece of advice that came to me years ago. You cannot get sick enough to heal one person on this planet. And you cannot get poor enough to make one person wealthy on this planet. And you cannot get confused enough to unconfuse one person on this planet. No amount of your feeling bad, when you say feeling bad, what you do is you lose your connection to source. And when you lose your connection to source, what happens is you create something called resistance. I can't do this. It's not possible. I, I don't deserve it. This, it's just not something that I can do. I, and when you create this kind of resistance, you have emotions. And these emotions become sadness, fear, worry, anxiety. And what I'd like to offer you is a way for you to use these emotions that you are experiencing at any time in your life and use them as a system, as a, as, a, as a barometer, as a guidance system to say to yourself, what kinds of thoughts am I having that are keeping me from being in rapport with this field of intention? And at any moment that you're not feeling good, you are attracting exactly the opposite of what it is that you would like to attract into your life. You are using this as a way to keep yourself from feeling God or feeling good. If you are listening to the news, and the news is filled with all of the reasons why you should be depressed, and it's not an accident that then they are sponsored by all of the reasons why you should take these uh, narcotics or these pills or whatever it is in order to get over. So here's some depression, and wait a minute, we'll be right back. Here's a way out of it, okay? <laughs> and every thought that you have that says I can't do it is resistance to connecting to source. And every thought that you have that says it's never worked before, that's resistance to connecting to this source, to what is being what I call vibrating through source energy, getting back to you, having your desires, what you want to create in vibrational harmony with this highest energy in the universe.
My teacher in India one time, Nisargadatta Maharaj, said when he was asked the question, there's wars going on in Pakistan, there's people having difficulties here, there's people, there's people dying, there's starvation. How can you say that I can heal myself and, that, and how can you be at peace when you see all of this going around? And you know what he said to his devotee? He said, in my world, nothing ever goes wrong. What a powerful idea that is. 